Hey gang gang, it's your boy Lino. How's everyone doing today? We are looking at Taco today. Taco Crypto. I think it's an amazing project on the Wax blockchain. It's something that has been around for a while and has actually stayed consistent for a while, which is really, really hard to do in this space. So we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at the, the NFTs you can buy, how you can earn Shing and how you can earn Taco, the two currencies within Taco. And we're also going to look at how you can make ingredients, how you can own extractors and how you can actually play this game for free. Okay. Taco has a completely free to play element and we're going to get into that in a bit more detail. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and this one's going to be juicy. Okay guys, we're going to get into the, just the basics of this game. So effectively, you know, with the taco, it's all about sort of creating shing and creating taco, okay? So how you do that is you need to have ingredients and you actually get ingredients from packs or you can actually make them from venues and the extractors are there to just make shing. So if we scroll down, it might make a bit more sense. So we can see here that venues and extractors both generate shing and that shing can be converted into ingredients. Those ingredients can then be converted into taco, which can then upgrade your venue. And it's worth noting that when you reach a certain level of upgrade, you actually need to add ingredients and taco. So it's not just taco that's used. You actually need to use some ingredients and taco. So once you reach certain levels, there's a real real grind that involved in taco if you have NFTs there. They have huge plans for multiplayer gaming and creating like a, a, a really user-friendly experience on wax which they do extremely well um we will get into the white paper a little bit later but we're going to show you just now what you can do what you need to start buying and why you might want to buy them okay first one we're going to look at is actually the extractors now we have six here which were the original extractors we have farm extractor which is based upon farming tales the town extractor which is the uncommon the city extractor which is the rare the planet extractor which is the epic systems extractor is the legendary and finally the galaxy extractor is actually the mythic okay so if we head over to the white paper we'll see the shing production rates so we can see that the farm the common makes 10 and the galaxy the mythic makes 2300 and anywhere in between on these rates okay so if you're thinking about buying into this game you can come here to work out uh the value you know you can use this to work out is this actually a good idea for me to buy it is it a fair price because you can work out how much shing it makes compared to the wax price and then you can find out the average okay so you can find out the cheapest average and go and buy that i think that the mythic is probably the best value for money but again you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get the mythic so that's the extractors the extractors can't be upgraded okay so they are a fixed rate the only way you can get the extractors to be a higher rate is to blend them with a special event token you see there's a valentine's here there's christmas here uh, it looks like obviously st patrick's day here so there's different events you can do to get more shing but that is definitely not what you need to worry about if you're just starting if you're starting worrying about getting yourself a farm extractor or two or a town extractor whatever's in your price range and then we can look at the venues and what you need to start doing there, okay? Okay, gang, so as we can see, we're onto the venues now. This is uh, similar to the extractors. We start with common, we go up to mythic, and the more detail, effectively, the better it is. So with a mythic, you can see you can make all of those different ingredients, whereas with the commons, you can only make one, okay? So having this actually costs the exact same amount of taco, shing, and ingredients to upgrade as this, but you're gonna get way more from your mythic. So mythics legendaries and epics are really expensive on this and rightfully so because they're going to be able to make a lot of shit okay so when i'm talking about leveling up what do i mean well if you scroll up you'll see that this pepper stand is actually level 18 and there's a pepper stand right next to it that's level 8 so this pepper stand has 10 more levels over it and to upgrade each level you need one taco for every level so if you do level one you need one taco if you do level five you need five taco if you do level 10 you need 10 taco you get my drift and the higher you go up not only does it cost more taco but it also requires ingredients and different things so it actually becomes really expensive to upgrade these so they're actually a really really time for investment because every 16 hours you can upgrade so even if you wanted to get to a level 100 you'd have to wait 
pretty much 60 days to even get there, even if you had all the money in the world, okay? So really nice idea there. And effectively having one of these is gonna cost a lot of money, but it should be a lot better than an extractor in the long run, okay? That's the, that's the theory behind the investment, okay? And with the venue, you get a lot of access that simply an extractor won't give you. So if we just go over to the white pair over here, guys, um, we'll just quickly look at the, the Xing token. So when you get your upgrades, it's really important for you to know that the upgrades give you a lot of value. So level two, you get the Xing Chat Enhancer. And if we scroll up, we get Taco G and Taco Governance Voting. So you basically get, you know, voting for the taco, which is great. So you can obviously help decisions going forward, which is exactly what we love to see in NFT projects. Renaming, you can actually burn a signboard NFT and rename your, your taco stand to whatever you like, which is great. <laughs> and then 100, you can get Shing volunteers. So daily Shing pool is assigned to the venue. Volunteers can work to get Shing rewards from your venue. Every day, a limited number of equipment NFT chests are sorted and distributed within the active volunteers. Volunteers can equip NFTs to increase their string rewards and find NFTs. This is the free to earn piece, guys. This is where it's really interesting, okay? But if we just quickly move on from that, staking 130, so you can actually stake Taco to get a bonus XP. You can actually re-roll your ingredients at different levels to get a higher chance of, an, of a higher ingredient. A dungeon portal at level 100 the venue acts as a dungeon entrance for adventurers they can start working on it and every entrance has a fixed fee so you can then start to earn a bit more passive income at level 150 owner can build a laboratory and create nfts themselves nfts created from laboratories are skins and other consumable unlimited items in the taco game they also have skill tree progression with a lot of different and unique paths that to me sounds like a very good long-term investment okay so now we're going to get on to the free to earn aspect what you need to do how you can do it and how to start mining some shing every day guys you can see we're now on the brigade tab okay so here is where you can actually pick a venue so these are the venues we talked about which have been leveled up to level 100 and you can see they have different fees so there's a five percent fee a 15 percent fee 33 percent fee you know i'm not sure about you guys but i'm definitely picking a five percent fee i'll tell you that and you can see the task feed attacker team were hungry i actually got airdropped an equipment which is amazing um i don't i don't know why it's not there anymore but i got airdropped an equipment on april fools so what we're going to do is we're actually going to execute this work started there we go so look now no more tasks to do sit back and come back later so we're going to claim that in an hour see what that provides and that's going to be your free shing bear in mind this is quite a cpu intensive task because every 24 hours you're doing you know you could be doing 24 hours clicks if you do it right okay so if you ever need help you know where to go so your cpu issues won't go away well rocket cpu is here to save the day you click the link in the description to start boosting your cpu now okay guys so we're going to come back in in an hour see how we get on how much thing we've made and hopefully with rocket cpu you should be able to get a few clicks in every single day so thanks to the guys over at rocket cpu for that okay gang if you go over to atomic hub type in tack on left hand side click the button taco and then you actually press the brigadier dot equip this is actually the items which you can equip in the game you can see this is a rare item with a 3.5 percent power whereas if you go down to this hat this actually has power and luck whereas this doesn't okay if you wanted to, to buy one of these on a the market i think the floor is about three dollars two dollars fifty that's okay you can actually go to the packs if you wanted to, to risk your luck you can actually go to if you type in brigadier to just filter it by the right packs so you can actually buy a pack for four dollars 49 which is actually kind of good value in my opinion because you're only going to lose about 50 percent if you pull a common and you could actually earn a decent amount i mean the percentages aren't published here i'm sure that they're accessible if you ask in the discord but what we're going to do guys we're actually going to open one of these packs live so we're going to go and buy one of the larger packs how much are they 43 dollars okay so we didn't do amazing now i won't be honest i'll be honest we didn't do amazing so we got a one on a one a 3.5 and a zero so that's a good amount of power another common by the looks of it another common i think that might be an uncommon maybe common uh, that's actually decent that's decent so i'm pretty happy with that you know i'm happy nfg lino is happy guys <laughs> so let's have a quick look there what did we get so we got an uncommon 
A common, a common, a rare, a common, a common, a common, and a common tiny core. So if we just add up the rough value of that, two dollars fifty plus two dollars fifty, five dollars plus three dollars, eight dollars fifty, let's say, plus three dollars fifty. We're looking around eleven dollars right now. Plus twenty five dollars. So that eleven dollars plus twenty five is about thirty six. Thirty nine dollars, forty four dollars. $50 okay so with the market fee being around 8% and us earning around $50 from that we basically made exactly what we paid for the pack of around $43 so I'm pretty happy with that we've got some decent items there to start using and I'd obviously you know when I have my venue at level 100 I'll be giving these to the scholars to use giving it to you guys giving it to you guys to help you guys out of your earnings so thanks very much for tuning in guys I hope you guys get involved Taco definitely something you want to be playing.